everyone welcome to my channel crochet rainbows and butterflies today we are going to learn how to crochet this diamond granny square now before we get started if you haven't yet don't forget to subscribe to my channel to never miss a crochet tutorial now for this tutorial I'm using crochet hook 3.5 millimeters you can use any crochet yarn but for this tutorial I'm using crochet four ply cotton yarn so let's get started. We begin with a magic circle. Now for those of you who do not know how to work a magic circle, I have a video on that as well. I'll leave the link to that video in the description box below. Now once you have your magic circle, you need to chain 3. 1, 2 and 3. This will be counted as your first double crochet for this row. Now you need to work two double crochets in the magic circle. One and two. Chain two. You need to work three double crochets in the magic circle. One, two and two. 3 chain 2 3 double crochets in the magic circle 1 2 and 3 chain 2 3 double crochets in the magic circle 1 2 and 3 chain 2 now you need to pull the loose end of the magic circle to close it and you need to work a slip stitch to join this row and we're going to work a slip stitch right on top of the chain 3 that you started this row with right here you work a slip stitch. Now after you work your slip stitch you need to chain one and cut your yarn. You're going to change the color for the next row and I'm going to join the next color with a slip knot and you need to join it in one of the chain spaces. So you have four chain spaces here. You need to go into one of them and join the next color and chain three one two and three now this will be counted as a first double crochet of this row you need to work two more double crochets in the same chain space one and two now you chain two and you need to work Three more double crochets in the same chain space. One, two, and three. Now you need to skip the three double crochets here and right into the next chain space you need to work three double crochets. One, two, and three chain 2, 3 double crochets in the same chain space, 1, 2 and 3. Now again you need to skip the double crochets here, the 3 double crochets in the next chain space, 3 double crochets, 1, 2, and 3 chain 2 and 3 double crochets in the same chain space 
now again you need to skip the three double crochets in the next chain space you work three double crochets two and three chain two and three double crochets in the same chain space one two and three and now you need to join your row so we're going to work a slip stitch right into the chain three that you started this row with so that's right here you need to work a slip stitch now after you work your slip stitch you need to chain one and cut your yarn we're going to join the next color and I'm going to join it with a slip knot into one of the corner spaces so you have your four corners here in one of the corners you need to join the next color and chain three and you work two double crochets in the same chain space that's one and two chain two now you need to work three double crochets in the same chain space that's one two and before you work the last double crochet we are going to join the next color so what you need to do is you need to work half of your double crochet with this color and we are going to finish it by joining the next color so for that you yarn over insert your hook pull out a loop yarn over pull through two loops and do not finish your stitch you're going to join the color like this and you pull out the previous color now in the next space we are going to work three double crochets with this color with the orange but you're going to hold this yarn through this row so hold it and we're going to take it under the stitches right up till here so we're going to start with the double crochets right here I'm holding the pink yarn as well so that's one two and now for the third double crochet we're going to change the color again so you work half of your double crochet with this color and before you finish it you pull up the next one like this and now in the chain space we are going to work three double crochets with this color with the pink one one two and three and again you need to hold your previous color along the row so that's three now you chain two and you work three more double crochets into that so that's one two and for the third one we are going to finish it by using the orange color so you work half of it then you pull up the orange and finish your stitch with the orange color like this now in the next chain space we are going to work three double crochets with the orange color and you're going to hold the pink one like this so that's one two and the third one you need to complete by changing the color so 
I'm going to drop this color and pick this one up like this. Now in the corner space, again, you need to hold this yarn. You work three double crochets, one, two, and three, chain two, and three double crochets again in the same chain space, one, two, and now in the third one, you need to pull up the orange color. And in the next chain space, you're going to work three double crochets with the orange color. Now this is the pattern you need to follow for the rest of this row. You need to change color right here in this chain space. Again, change color in the corner and again you change color in this space. Now I've reached the end of this row. This is the last double crochet here. Right into that you're going to pull up the pink color. And now you're going to work a slip stitch to join this row right into the first chain three that you started this row with right here. You work a slip stitch and you're going to work a slip stitch into the next two stitches and make sure you're holding the other color right here at the end of these stitches. So you go in right here and work a slip stitch. So one. This is the second one. And now for the third slip stitch in the chain space, I'm going to change the color. Now you chain three. This will be counted as the first double crochet for this row. Make sure you're holding the other color right here at the back of these stitches. Now you need to work two double crochets into the same space. One and two. Chain two. Three double crochets in the same chain space. One, two, and now with the third one, we are going to change the color. This is the third one. Now in the next chain space, that's not a chain space actually it's just a space in between the two double crochets right into that you need to work three double crochets one two and three And in the next one, you need to work three double crochets with the same color. And all the while, you need to make sure you're holding the other color at the back of your stitches. So in the next space here, you need to work three double crochets. So one, two, and now in the third one, we're going to pull up the previous color and three. Now hold this color at the back and in the next chain space you need to work three double crochets. One, two and three. Chain two, 
and three double crochets in the same chain space so one two and now with the third one we're going to change the color now in the next space you need to work three double crochets one two and three in the next space you work three double crochets one two and now in the third one you need to change the color And in the corner stitch you need to work hold this color at the back of your stitches and you need to work three double crochets one two and three chain two and three double crochets in the same chain space one two and now in the third stitch we are going to change the color and this is the pattern you need to work till you reach the end of this row so after you finish your corner in these two spaces you're going to work double crochets with the pink color then again the corner you need to change your color to orange and then again two spaces with the pink color I've completed working this row I've reached the last double crochet now we're going to change the color while working this double crochet and now I'm going to hold this color at the back and work a slip stitch right into this first chain three You work a slip stitch in the next stitch a slip stitch in the next stitch and now the next slip stitch in the chain space you're going to change color and you chain three you work two double crochets right into that space so one and two chain two three double crochets in the same chain space one two and now the third one we are going to change color And in the next space you need to work three double crochets with this color with the orange color that's one two and for the third one we are going to change color again that's three In the next space three double crochets with the pink one that's one two and the third one we're changing color again now in the next space you work three double crochets with the orange one two and the third one we're changing color again ok 
Okay, and now we reach the corner stitch. Now in the corner stitch, you need to work three double crochets. Two and three. Chain two and three double crochets in the same space. One, two, and the third one, we are going to change color. So that's three. In the next space, you need to work three double crochets. One, two, and in the third one, you change color. Three. In the next space, three double crochets. One, two, and in the third one, you change color. Three. Now in the next space, three double crochets. One. two and in the third one you change color and now we are at the corner stitch now right into that you need to work three double crochets two and three chain two and three double crochets in the same space one two and the third one we are going to change the color now this is a pattern you need to follow for the rest of this row now in the next space you're going to work three double crochets with the orange color in the next space pink in the next space orange and in the corner stitch you will work the pink color and that is a pattern you need to follow for the rest of this row i've reached the end of this row and i'm working on the last double crochet here I'm going to change color for the last double crochet and now I'm going to join this row with a slip stitch right into the first chain 3 that you started this row with. So right here you work a slip stitch, chain 1 and now you can cut your yarn. We've completed working the diamond granny square. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and happy crocheting.